Okay. Well, welcome to this week's Thursday night shift. We're excited to have you. We actually have a quick video that we're gonna play for you. You may not be able to fully read all of them, but you're gonna get the idea. And we think it's a fun way as we are wrapping up this month. So where is said video? It's right here. Oh, not that yet. Oh, right here. Okay, here oh, we go. Oh, oh. Did it go away? So why would me want to show that to you? So we have had, um, and I just ran up the stairs real quick so I'm out of breath. Um, <laughs> so we thought that it would, over the month, we've kind of been collecting, as you can see, different screenshots of all the things you guys have been celebrating. And it's fun because a lot of the times we as leaders don't get to see them as much. You guys have been so awesome and so grateful. And it has been so much fun. And we wanted to remind you guys that, and your teams, when you tune in and you take the actions, like these are the types of things that you're going to be seeing, you're going to be creating within your business. So while I catch my breath, Heather, why don't you start with our question? <laughs> sure, yeah. So um, before we do our question, if you have an aha moment or a win or something that was great that you gained from Active in April, the monthly movement page, Post it in the comments in the chat. We would love to hear what yours is and read it um, if you wouldn't mind sharing. And our opening question tonight is this. So it's just gonna be the, the superstar directors that are on on the panel. You're gonna answer this question. Uh, what thing do you really wanna make sure that all of you really take home and implement that you, it's that one thing that you feel is so important that we talked about or we shared this month that you want to make sure every single person on this live and in this Zoom really gets it and implements it in their business from here on out. Um, let's see, Jamie, you want to go first? Well, I feel like we're all going to have the same answer at some in some way or not another, but just that um, don't be afraid to try a new way to party um, and to Make sure that you 
um, have healthy conversations, constant conversations with your hostesses because that could be your future. Them or someone in their party could be a future team member. So healthy conversations, healthy, I don't know why I'm using healthy, but positive, I guess. Uh, Melissa? Can you hear me? Okay. Um, Amy. Amy, 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 a million times over. I have really challenged myself, if nothing else, during monthly movement to be my one thing that's not negotiable. And it is completely, it's everything I need for my business, for my team, contacting my team and contacting my customers. And it's amazing. And the functionality is so much more than what it was when it first started. I mean, even today we were on Cubicle discovering some new things that you can do with Amy with logging your, you know, logging orders and, and um, sending invoices and marking them paid. And it's just, it's awesome. So I would say it, it kind of goes with anything, like pick something and really give it a go and see if it can impact your business. And if it can, work it in. And if it can't, weed it out. So that's my advice. I can go next. So I am going to say to really think outside the box. That's another thing I hope you guys will think, take from Active in April Monthly Movement is to really think outside the box and realize that a lot of the things that we shared can go so much further. It's one of the reasons that at every like mission post at the end, we really wanted to emphasize and ask you guys to share your ideas and things because we know that we don't know it all and that you guys can add so much more value or just even one little tweak of how you implement something completely can change it and take it to the next level. So for example, those of you that were on with us towards the end of, did I print it? I thought I meant to, I put the paper in it. You know what happened? Marin came in, she's so stinking cute. She came in and I got distracted and I was gonna print this and show you guys cause I just came up with it. And we're gonna put it in the monthly movement tomorrow. But I was just sitting here thinking, okay, what is another way? Like we did so much with QR codes this month, right? And I had just got my customer mail out this week for next month. And I was like, oh my gosh, this would have just taken my customer mail to the whole next level with QR codes. And so basically it comes out of the printer, but basically what I thought was I had made a reel over on my Instagram. I'm sure many of you guys have seen different reels or videos of people putting together their scent and warmer of the month, right? And so I was like, oh, I should have, I like, yeah, it's on my social media. That's great. But I could have used that in a whole nother aspect and taken it to the next level. So this is postcard shape. And um, this is what I'm gonna make available for you guys. It'll be a postcard and you'll be able to make the back whatever you want. But look how easy, you know what? Just screw this. I'm just gonna share my screen. I'm sorry. This is all over the place ADD tonight. I apologize about that. Um, so this, I put the QR code um, here and then the scratch and stuff. So every month, all you could do is you could upload a video of the scent and more the scent of the month or the warmer of the month to a YouTube channel. Um, and you can make a QR code just the way we taught you guys to do QR codes all month. You put your scratch and smell sticker here, you write the month in, and you could have all of these postcards made. You could use your sticker and implement it there, right, with all the stickers. And then you are able to every month have this monthly specials postcard that's kind of interactive depending on the video that you make with the video or with the with the warmer, the scent of the month when it comes in. And it's a like, again, a whole nother way to take QR codes to another level in your business. So that's what I would say is to think outside the box. And a lot of times is don't overthink it. As you're thinking outside the box, don't just put your blinders on and overthink what's right in front of you, but take that to a whole nother level. So Heather. So the one thing I'm going to tell you to implement and make sure you're doing it um, is your Google form or your Jot form or whatever, if you are not doing this, you are missing the boat. You are missing a huge, huge, huge opportunity in your business. Um, I use this in several different ways. And that's why my whole background is, is gone now. You see my party setup is not behind me anymore. Um, and I've made it more business. I was telling the girls because I'm going to do my lives in the other room. And there are key things we'll go over the details of how i utilize this later because we are going to talk 
quite a bit on follow-up tonight, and I'm going to show you some things on how that's going to help your business. But you have to have something, whether you're giving out a sample, I don't care if it's even the enter my free drawing or using Amy to get their info, you've got to follow up. If, if you're not having some sort of form gathering information with key questions, you are missing out. So we'll touch on that again later. But I, I know Callie has a video that showed exactly how to create this. Um, we've got all the tools and all the work is done for you. You just got to get familiar with using it and utilizing, I think, too, with those uh, QR code parties. It's I know it has personally increased my sales at all my parties. Um, it is getting me more bookings, which that's that's what I needed in my business. I needed more parties. I, I don't need sales. I don't need individual orders. I need to meet more people. I need to flip more hostesses, plain and simple. That's what's going to keep me paid at title and building my organization. It is not going to do that through sales. So that would be my takeaway. Sorry, I'm coughing to death. You're good. I was just trying to make sure that I got the link also over on the Facebook. Uh, I dropped in the chat if you didn't know how to make a Google form. I have a video for Google forms because that's what I use. Um, there are drop forms are definitely, um, there are some different functionalities and things that you can do with them, but I haven't divin, di, divin, divin, oh wow, English is hard tonight. I haven't dove into that um, because it's just, I mean, it's a new thing that I just need to do. So there's, I'm sure a bunch of videos out there, but I wanted to make sure that both places had that how to. Um, so yeah, so those are some of the major things that we would say to implement. There's only four of us tonight, um, which is the beauty of having a, a panel kind of like this is the others are out playing this evening. So quick answers there, but tonight we wanted, this is going to kind of jump from place to place. Um, we really wanted to just kind of wrap up the monthly movement and active in April. And then as Heather mentioned, we are going to talk about follow-up because follow-up is key after all the things that hopefully you have implemented into your business over this last month. And so um, with the monthly movement and active in April, that group is still going to be there. Uh, today, when we were on the online cubicle, the question was, so are you guys like, are you done? Are you, are you going to leave us? And, and so, no, that's not what we're going to do. We were kind of chit-chatting um, before we jumped on here. We are still going to, um, the Thursday night shift, we are still going to leave open. So whomever would like to join us for Thursday night shift, you are more than welcome to continue to join us. We will still stream this live to the monthly movement. Look at all the excitement. Oh, yay. <laughs> We love that. So we will still leave this open to you guys um, moving forward. And um, of course, stream that into the active in April. Heather's done really good since last active in April of periodically posting different things in there. Um, and I will commit myself. I'm not going to put the other ladies, but I'm sure they will. If I'm sharing something with my team to share that with those of you that maybe aren't necessarily a part of our individual teams, but that will still be there. Um, reference that, you know, go back. If you have a part, a team member that joined your team that is you know, maybe stuck and they're like, oh, well, I'm home parties aren't working for me because I'm in Canada and I'm locked down again, um, you know, or, you know, I can't do this, that or the other, then there's all these different things that you can reference. You can also go back and recycle and reuse, right? So you could just switch something up slightly. Maybe there's a different image in the Dropbox that you didn't get the chance to use yet, right? You can use that and maybe use very similar wording that you switch up. So we hope that you go back and use this, this group as a resource, as a reference point. Um, we know there was probably a lot of stuff in this last month that you guys did get to even see. Um, Jill is going to be going through over this next week and she's going to be putting things into guides and units now that the content for the month is kind of wrapped up. So that will be a, a place that you guys can go ahead and look under guides and then also tags. So there's two different places you'll be able to reference. So um, and if you have questions on things, obviously we'll still be there. We can still go ahead and access that. Um, and Crystal just said in the chat, I'm new and do not know how to use Dropbox. Well, guess what? There is a Facebook Live in the monthly movement on how to use the Dropbox. Yes, so you is. can go ahead and find that there. Um, and we did that the, towards the beginning of April because we learned that this is also a tool that was new to many of you. Um, and one of the things that we love about Dropbox, we actually use this as a group whenever we're wanting to share files. We'll say, hey, I just threw this in the Dropbox. Um, so if you have a team or something like that, that's a good resource to use to be able to share files because it's set up just like the file system on a computer. So um, hope that you guys have loved getting to get to use that. Um, what else do we want to talk about as we wrap up Active April? You're muted. Well, I, I'm going to just throw this out there about Dropbox. I didn't use it prior to. I didn't know how to use it prior to this. So it is a great resource for you to use in your entire business. Those daily topics. If you ever need graphics, ideas, or you are stumped on ways to get PRV booster, 
open up the Dropbox. This is exactly why we set it up on Dropbox this way, because we've got to have a big enough space for all of you to access and have it organized in a fashion where it's it's easy to sort, easy to find, and easy for you to utilize it in your business. So yes, there are going to be things that you're going to have to learn that you've never done before. I had to do it too, and I'm doing it all the time. That's part of being a business owner, right? If you were the same consultant on day one as you are 12 years later, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem because that is not good and that is not what this business is about. So learn something new. Um, there was a few obstacles along the way, I would say, that we heard people say, or can I get this in this region or this country, or I don't have this warmer or, or what, all different things, right? Like. There was a lot of time, even that putting the video clips together and not that we want y'all to give us sympathy, but we are also running our own personal businesses, our own family life, our own teams, our own groups, active in April, monthly movement, creating content, trying to get it all done. And we couldn't cover it all, right? We, we give you the nuts and bolts and I want you to mold it and create it for what I want it to be for you. Like, I saw one lady comment that she had the QR code party and a host, it, some did great, some failed. It, it isn't necessarily even a party style, right? Whatever works for you, works for you. It, there is no picture perfect. What works for me is not, may not work for you, but find out what is. If you're not getting parties, figure out how to get parties booked. If your parties aren't successful or reaching five, six, $800, Focus on getting good at hostess coaching and communicating and having a relationship with that hostess to talk on a regular basis. There are things and steps that you can do along the way that we've seen have the, these people have obstacles in the monthly movement and challenges where you've got to overcome and just find a way, right? If, if you don't have the budget to mail, you make a smaller packet and you mail what you got. The great thing is, is people don't have any expectations. They don't know what's coming. So they can't be let down. If you see a fabulous packet where you're like, well, I can't do that. Well, of course you, you can, or you can't, it's your choice. The thing is, they don't know what to compare it to. Don't let that stop you of doing or acting because you feel like your business has to look like mine. What we're telling you to do I will never tell you to do anything that I'm not personally doing myself, number one. And at any moment, if you want to challenge me and say, bull, I, I'm calling your bluff. I will show you my numbers. Numbers do not lie. I am a black and white type of girl, and I will show you the numbers. I will never tell you anything to do if it doesn't work. All of us leaders have tried many different things over the years, and we still do, right? We have to be changing and learning and moving with this world we're living in. And so be brave, be bold enough to try something. And if it doesn't work, don't complain about it. Find a way that does work and share that. But complaining about anything is only halting you and you getting in a mindset that's going to stop you from succeeding in this business. The one negative thought alone will stop you. Um, so any other obstacles that y'all can think of that we kind of had hurdles and we kind of like, we, we, we want to address that, that y'all can think of that we could help them if maybe they had some of the same obstacles? Yeah, I really think the two biggest ones were, um, this doesn't work for me for X, Y, and Z reason, which Heather just covered, right? We yeah. have to just take it and twist it. Um, there's many of you that I can see on this screen that have done just that. Um, I would also say the financial aspect, right, was slightly point out, hit, hit on. We obviously, and I share this with my team, all, every time I share something, I'm like, you have to remember, and I always say this about Heather because I feel like she needs to, like, I feel like we all really need the disclaimer at the level that we're at in our businesses, is we're just a little bit extra, and we're extra because it truly brings us joy, and because of the, the where we started to where we are now has allowed that gap to highly open. Even if you just take one thing and implement it within your budget, I mean, I still love the rub and smell stickers, even though I could financially afford to make all the failed samples in the world and send out big packets like that's within my budget. 
I would, I still like right here is where I have all my rub and stall sheets. Yesterday I did my customer mail. I used rub and stall sheets because it's easier in my opinion, right? So you just have to find ways that work for you within your budget and don't get hung up on that of what others can and you may can't. Um, I also see some other people on the screen that I heard, well, I can't do, you know, live Facebook parties, right? Like back before we started the QR code party, it was for X, Y, and Z reason, I can't do Facebook parties from home. Like my, my living situation doesn't work for that, whatever that looks like. Well, now you have a QR code party, right? And that's taking things to the next level and stepping outside the box. And that's exactly what we're referring to. Um, if you saw another, I mean, if you guys saw another obstacle that you want us to squash, uh, you can private chat us, you can put it in the chat, but we would love to do that. Jamie, Melissa. Well, I was just going to say, and it was something that I said in the beginning, but um, full circle kind of thinking here, but like someone said, well, some, some hostesses did it and rocked it. Some didn't, some want the old style. Um, that was one of the lessons I learned that I've really got to communicate with my hostess to see what like hey this is going for seven days now and we've got zero interaction let's implement a facebook group or whatever you gotta move you gotta be willing to move but you have to keep that communication because that's that's something i've learned personally like okay this was not working for entirely too long before i opened my eyes so i think that communication making sure that I even said that to Heather. I was like, okay, there's some more things that I need to like point out and drive home so that this will be successful because ultimately we want these people to be like, oh, I can duplicate this. I can do this, but you know what I'm saying? So I think that that's just what I was gonna drive home again. It's just that some people are gonna like, but you know what, if you're doing bingo parties and there's no hitch there and that's what is your jam, then do what's your jam. This is just something else to offer to, to y'all as a whole. It may not be your thing, but maybe it's some someone in your team. Maybe this is something. And I've had people in my downline come to me and go, I don't know if it's for me, but I know two girls in my team that are gonna kill it with this. So be willing to listen and learn so that you're able to teach it, whether on one product sheet with one sample or however it looks, but don't be afraid to at least dive into it. Um, and don't knock yourself out before you even open the door. Like really look at it and be willing to see, okay, maybe I can't do all of this, but I can do this, this, and this, and it can still be a successful thing. So I just, that would be the main thing is just that communication with your hostesses and, and finding what works. And don't, don't be sad if it doesn't work out. It's okay. If you did your best, walk away, learn from it and try it again. With the next hostess, it might be like, a $2,000 party. You just never know. So flexible and be willing to change things as, as you move. I was trying to look at some of the things in the chat and I apologize. I had to turn off my camera for a minute. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to say something that you already said, but I said something on cubicle today that, um, that I think is, is probably one of the coolest things that I've discovered in the last couple of months. And that is the value in collaboration with your peers. And that, you know, I said earlier, it doesn't matter what the event is, but you show up, you never know what you're going to get out of it. Because we may start something with a topic of XYZ and completely end on who knows what, but somewhere in there in between, you might pick up something that you weren't even expecting to pick up. And that has happened to me so much in the last six months. I mean, I think Callie referenced at the beginning of, of this call, there's a group of us that Zoom all the time. And we've done it even with pockets of our own downline and with other, I mean, we're constantly in connection. And I know that's not possible for everybody, but when you are able to be able to connect, because there's so much power in this community, there is power in um, support, there's power in, um, you know, we can't be good at everything. We can't be masters and experts at all aspects of this business. But the good part is somebody out there needs something that I have, and I certainly need help with something they have. And so, finding your community and, and finding micro communities within our Sensi community. People you click with, people whose faces you become accustomed to seeing. Um, I mean, you guys know when we are all on together, it doesn't matter when you started, how long you've been with Sensi, where you live, how long you can be on the call. None of that matters. 
And so I think that's one of the coolest things is we really truly are, and I say this all the time, in our business for ourselves, but not by ourselves. And that is a really, really cool, powerful tool because I, I know if I was in this business completely alone and didn't have peers to talk to about my business, I'd have really have to love wax and warmers to, to stick around for 13 years. Well, and something else, just because you're talking about that, yeah, I've seen a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to tan. I, I don't want the cubicles to stop. Well, guess what? Like you can, you can schedule these and set these up with your people with like, just start collaborating. You've already been collaborating. There's a whole page called the monthly movement full of people go in there. They're craving it. I, I, that's probably the most common thing. I don't want this to end. I want more of the cubicle. Go in there. Get yeah. a chat going and start it. Don't wait on someone else to do it. Do it. Like don't, yeah. So and that's the way, don't wait on somebody else. And here's the thing. If I'm sitting at my desk and I'm not on Zoom with somebody and a cubicle comes across, I will pop in. Like I don't have, I have no problem doing so. And I've been doing that a lot in the last couple of weeks, popping into different cubicles and in different links that that I've seen because I'm like, it, how fun is it to get work done at your desk, but have other people. I like forget you guys are all aren't in my office. I mean, it's great. So I think the collaboration helps with the consistency component. It has, it has helped me immensely. I'm a shopaholic. I will find any excuse in the world to get to Target. Any excuse. It could be stupid and I'll find any excuse. But what I found, and my credit card is so happy, what I found is that having these types of cubicles and meetings and Zooms and impromptu Zooms and somebody on my team texting and saying, hey, how did you do that uh, in Amy? And I'm like, hey, let me throw you a Zoom link. Let's hop on. And so um, it has helped me be more productive because I have accountability. Melissa, explain what cubicle is. A lot of people are asking what it is. It's just an online. So we call it cubicle because it's basically like all of you are sitting in my office, but in the next de desk over, right? So if we worked in an office together, we'd all be in cubicles and we'd roll our chair back and talk to each other, but we'd still be getting work done. And so we've created that environment virtually and we call it online cubicle because it's essentially all of us getting on Zoom. We may be working, or you may be working on something sensey, you may not be. Sometimes on cubicle, I'm paying bills, but I'm still have people to talk to. Somebody asks a question on how to do something, where to find something. Does anybody have a graphic for this? Does anybody help? Can somebody help me design this? Can somebody help me word this? How would you, how would you word this text message? And you have people in front of you that can help field that question for you. And I look around here and Crystal and Lynn and Brooke Miller and Lynn and Ross. I mean, so many of these guys get on all of these links. And so now we've become kind of like, like it's just what we do, right? It's what we do. Somebody throw a link out there and Lord knows people will hop on it. So it doesn't take any of us starting it. You can start it, post it, share it. And if you see people on here that you typically are on these Zooms with, send them a private message, create a little private message group. And then I did that with girls that I regularly get on a cubicle with and say like, Hey, I just a private message that chat. If anybody wants to hop on, hop on. So that was a long winded answer, but that's what cubicle is. It's just a virtual hangout. And to add, I'm seeing now a lot of people saying, where's the link? Where's the link? Where's the link? Um, so we, and I kind of typed this, we have not discussed what that's going to look like moving forward after active in April. Um, we did them we did them once a week for the month of April and um, we had events for those in the group. Some of you got to join us and saw those. I'm seeing some familiar faces, but we actually have not discussed what that looks like moving forward. So if you kind of keep an eye on the monthly movement, if we open one up, we may throw one in there. Um, we have uh, 
posts turn off, but if you want to start an open cube or a cubicle or say, hey, tomorrow I would love to do one. If you want to write a post and send it to us, we can post it in the monthly movement for you. We don't have posting turn on there. Um, if you want to share it with others, um, one of the things that we do ask is, and you know, especially if we're posting it in a group that large, is um, normally we we like to make sure that one of us or somebody is available to kind of I know this sounds bad monitor, but just because we don't ever want it to turn, we don't want to open something up and have it turn into a negative experience for people. So that's kind of another one of the reasons we have commenting and certain things turned off. But if you, you know, if you want to, we can see what that looks like moving forward. Um, but again, it's not about just us fostering that community. It's about you guys fostering that community. If you know, you're a director and above and you're in director pages and you want to offer that to maybe some of those people or your boot camp sisters and you're getting your different teams together, sisters and brothers, you're getting them together. Like those are the things that hopefully as we talk about them and these opportunities that we're able to, um, again, offer different ways of using Zoom, of using these platforms, thinking outside the box as we kind of talked about in the beginning um, of doing even more. And I think that was the other thing. How do you start a cubicle? It's basically, we call it a cubicle, it's a Zoom. It's just like this, you create a Zoom link and you send out the Zoom link and the password and they pop on. That's really all it is. It's just a, another way to use the Zoom platform. And really something really cool about programs like the monthly movement is you get to see some of the things, I mean, you guys have been with us now, especially Thursday night shift, right? You've been with us a long, a long time. and you get to see what are the patterns that leaders do? What are the things that leaders are, are doing and sharing? And, you know, you'll see all of us, when we do show up to a cubicle, we're working, right? We still work our businesses just like any of you, just like a certified consultant. But you're also learning, like we do these cubicles, we do these Zooms. Oh, I never even thought to have an accountability group to do you know, to, to, to Zoom with once a week or to have a happy hour or a catch up or a mom's night. You can do those kinds of things by creating a Zoom link and taking some of the practices that we've put in place or that you've seen during the monthly movement and create that with your team. Present it to, if you're not a director, present it to your upline and say, could we do this? Could we do a cubicle? Do you think you could host, you know, host one once a week or could we rotate maybe the directors in our group hosting? Take some of the things and the skills and the practices that you've witnessed and translate those over in your world. You'll, you're always a part of this world, right? You're always a part of our greater community, but you have a way to create, like I said, micro communities. And certainly if you message me and ask me or message I won't throw anybody else out there, but you message and say, would you mind hopping on? Or if I hosted a cubicle, could you pop on and say hi? Or could you just talk to us about one tip or trick? I really don't turn people down unless I have a conflict. Now, don't all bombard me and ask me at once, but um, that's what we're here for, to help each other. Because really, I'm only as good as the rest of our consultants, right? And so it benefits me to help others because that helps the greater good of Sensi. That's what we're about. You guys know that about us. It's honestly one of my biggest passions in life. I've been in this career field since 2010 full time. And one of my biggest passions is to change the stigma around direct sales, around multi-level marketing, around all of those things. And the only way that we can do that is by those of us that have reached the level of success that many strive to achieve is by helping you guys do the same. So when you show up, when your team show up, when you implement the things, that's what we're collectively doing because all of us, the, the panels and many of you know, you've seen what this industry can provide, the freedom, the flexibility, the, you know, all the things that we'd have to tie in with the income disclosure statement, right? The things that we've talked about, if you've been able to or attended with the potential for um, the explore opportunity nights with your consultants, like those things we know that this profession can provide, but a lot of the time, a lot of the time it gets mucky because at the end of the day, it is all of our individual efforts that make that difference. And if we buy a, buying a kit doesn't make us successful, right? But tuning in and collaborating and creating the community and helping one another grow, that's why we're will, why, why a lot of times we're willing to go bounds further and helping and the give more than you take and all of those things to make that happen. Um, 
because it is it is definitely a group effort to do so. And I um, I saw uh, Heather Curran, Curran, I pronounce her name wrong all the time. I'm so sorry, Heather. But I saw her comment. She said, I felt alone in my previous company for 10 years, but she's, you know, and, and she stayed with that company. I know what company it was because she's in our group. She's under Jill. And um, it definitely is one of those things that makes Sensi, I feel like genuinely different. And so if you ever come across that, these are the things that you only get to hear when you tune in and you'll be, you'll, you, you'll find yourself in a place, maybe it's years down the road, right? And you're having a conversation with somebody that has that exact same excuse. And you're like, you know what? Well, guess what? I'm able to tell you, Sensi's different because da, 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 da. And I heard this here, there, and the other. So just remember that I kind of keep these things in your, in your toolbox and your piggy bank down the road. And you're on a Zoom with, with top leaders, right? Top of the compensation plan. Since he says we're top leaders, whatever. It just means we work our business just like you guys do. But, and we don't sit and tell you how to make the most money and be the most successful and be the best. And you have to do all of that. You've got to step on people to get there and you have to, you do it at all caught. Like it is the most comfortable environment. And that is what people want to be a part of. We don't want to be a part of a pressure situation where I'm only working hard for the attention of a leader. And remember, success is divine, defined by your definition. Because what success means to me could be something completely different to somebody else. Success doesn't mean I'm only successful if I earn the incentive trip. I am only successful if I become a director. I am only successful if I'm an SSD. I am only successful if I make $1,000 a month. No, you are only successful when you allow yourself to be successful. Listen, I'm celebrating my success this week of being at my desk five days. That is a huge success for me. So when we measure our successes in small stepping stones rather than somebody else's end result, we are so much happier. We have more to give to our community and we want to stay here longer. And that is the power that we want to share with everybody who's willing to grasp it, right? You guys are regular faces on my screen because you continue to show up and you continue to show up because there's something here of value. And because you're start, you really have started to believe in yourselves and you do believe in yourselves and you know that happiness comes from within. It doesn't come from other people. And I can't help but get on my soapbox and take you to church as the chat says, because I feel so passionate about this. I feel so passionate. Like how lucky are we that we get to work side by side people from all over the world every day. And it's not about she's in competition to me, with me and she's stepping on my toes and she's kind of, it's all about making each other better because then our community is better. There. Raise the roof. <laughs> Everybody's saying preach. That's amazing. And it's so true. It's 1000% true. Every last word of it. And we're excited for you guys to experience. I'm seeing actually some fun names. I saw Brie was on. I, you know, you see Camilla. There's several superstar directors that I'm seeing. And again, it's part of that community and it's part of, you know, coming together and continuously showing up. And it's just, um, it's pretty incredible. It's pretty awesome. So with that, Jamie, Heather, is there something else you want to add on this before we move to, are you good to do follow-up Heather? Okay. So um, yeah, go ahead. Run with it, my dear. Okay, so um, a huge part of everything that we've done, we wanted to touch on follow up. So we're all going to kind of, um, I'm going to take you down a, a version of what my follow up looks like in my business overall. Um, that's why I changed my office behind me, um, because I'm not the best at follow up. I, I'm just not. I literally have built my business um, over the years with parties. I stopped partying for a very long time and became very comfortable with just taking orders, thinking that's what I was going to get me to where I needed to be. And I need to get back to where I want to be going in this business and it's not going to be through orders. And so 
I literally, we talked about this on the, on the online cubicle today. I have got to stop spending my attention on sales. I need to be focusing on meeting new people and getting parties booked. How is an influx of new people going to get in front of me? And I'm very good at spoiling my customers where they don't go anywhere. In reality, it's harming my business. I need to be spoiling the crap out of my hostesses. So with my party packs, I was sending my hostess the same thing that people were receiving. I need to change that. The hostess is the one I need to be spoiling so they want to party with me, right? So let's quickly, my follow-up, I'll just do a very short version of it. Um, there are some key questions I ask in my Google form. Um, would you be interested in helping your host get an additional half price item? Yes, no, or maybe. Would you like to be spoiled with free and half price goodies? Yes, please. No, thank you. Maybe, tell me more. Do you know anyone that might be interested in earning some extra money? Yes, no, maybe. Would you like to get paid on your purchases? Yes, I'd love some info. Maybe, please tell me more. No, thank you, I don't mind paying retail. On a scale from one to 10, how interested are you in starting your own Sensi business? And the nice thing about it, well, I did change it and update it to zero through 10, because if it's a zero, it's a hardcore no, but one means there's a chance, right? So the process of this, what I, again, put this into place. I use this all last party style when I created the other slivers back in the day. What I found was these were really great forms because I print them off as they're coming in, but I wouldn't reach back to the people or my team would come to me and say, what do you say? How do you reach out to these people now that they answered it on the form? It is a little awkward if you're not jumping on it at the moment while it's hot, right? So here's what I ended up implementing and changing. Immediately when I get a form, I go to the person's Facebook and I FR is friend request. I send them a friend request. I personally snag their profile pic and I, I do some personalization in the TuneMe app and I personalize their party pack in the front, right? I will post in the group, that's why it says post and I check it because I will make a post on the thread in my Facebook party group. Thanks Susie for your filling out your form, I received it. Red heart and I'll post the picture of their TuneMe. One girl's like, oh my God, I love my Tune my cartoon, thank you. Feel free to use it on your social. Enjoy, aren't they cute, aren't they fun? So now I'm talking nonsensy with these people that think I'm just the sales lady. I'm just trying to create non-sales conversations where I'm doing something nice for them, right? It doesn't cost money to do that, it costs time. But it's the little simple things that you're willing to do that others won't be. Not that I'm telling all of you to do all the excess what I'm telling you, but it is the small details. This is why handwritten cards are so powerful. And the small details go a very long way. So then I will create the party label and I'll ship it. So how am I fixing the problem on follow-up? Let's go back to the one question really quick. Well, before that, do you have any pets is what I ask. And when they say yes, I'll put a little rub and smell sticker on there. Now I know to include a pet sample in this person's party pack, right? And it does have little dog bones, two little dog bones in there with the sample. The next question is, would you be interested in helping your host get a half price item? I've made a sheet now and I've never done all of these parties. I said this on the cubicle today, I'm not worried. I've never done a bingo party like Jen does. You know what? I totally would. Have I ever done office party packs? Well, that's just reworded to like a, a basket party. They don't know any different. So here is what my form says now that goes in their party pack. You expressed interest on your party pack form that you wanted to help your host get an additional half price item. Here's how you can. You can choose to do any of the following and it says a QR code catalog party with sample packs, office party packs, Cincy Bingo, a personal shopping link, an in-home party, or a Facebook 30 minute live product demo. Choose any one of these and your hostess will get an extra half price item because that's the perpetual. Next, would you like to be spoiled with free and half price goodies? Why, yes, I would. 
So guess what? You're going to have this form in your packet. And sometimes it's going to be both because if they say maybe they're getting it. You expressed interest on your party form that you would like to be swole with half free and half price. We just changed the colors, but left the exact same info. It's the simplicity of our business. This is what we're doing. Next question. Do you know anyone that might be interested in earning some extra money? Now, you do not have to give away this. I have a blank one set up for you. I personally put $100 in Scentsy products on mine because I'm enrolled in the Scent and Warmer of the Month subscription every single month. There are some months I don't sell them. That warmer alone could be $35, $45, $65. Throw in the room spray that comes with it or a couple of bars. You very quickly can have $100 retail value in products. So that form is a gift for you. I have a little gift for you. Refer me a new team member and you receive $100 in Scentsy products. This is valid through Heather Gorsuch, Scentsy Independent Consultant only. What do I do? Oh, I'm sorry. I have a person or two in mind. What do I do? Reach out to your friend or family member. Tell them that you think they'd be great. Ask them if they would be interested in hearing some information and having a conversation. If they say yes, text me with their name and phone number, I'll reach out or start a private group message on Facebook with all three of us. Your introduction helps. Last but not least, would you like to get paid on your purchases? You expressed interest in getting paid on your purchases. Minimum required, $200 order once a year. Yes, you heard me right. $200 order once a year. You'll get 20 to 30% paid back to you. It's that simple. Because all it is is a call to action. We're acknowledging what they put on the survey and you have a reason to follow up. So those are now in my party packs upon arrival. Um, and that way we can have further discussions about it later. I will tell you as soon as someone comes in, you can do it on a piece of paper. It's above my head. You'll see that right there, barely written. Um, I have columns and it is literally host, business opportunity or special products that are coming out. If someone puts a yes or a maybe, they immediately go on my wall behind, their name is on there because I need to be staring at my dream and goal board every day when I'm working towards and the people that are gonna get me there. And the people that are gonna get me there are buy, host, join, right? In those three categories. So you've got to constantly be build, building this list in order to have something to reach from and go to and, and reference back or use your Amy for and all of that. So just because I just now thought of this um, and through our discussions, um, like what is the end game? You just want these customers to order from you all the time? Yeah, that's great. That's great. I mean, some, and some are going to. That's definitely how it's going to be sometimes. Some just want to be. But like, if you're really wanting to build a business, if you really want to give more than you take, if you really want this for the long haul, you're going to be looking at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is not that, that $50 warmer. It's not that $500 party. It is helping them start a successful business. So her creating this follow-up because like, I don't know about y'all that were on the Amy call last week aha moments galore. And I want to go back and listen to so much. There's so much that I want to go back and listen to. But if you're not really setting up a follow-up and having these conversations, then you're just, it's, um, I don't want it to sound like depressing or it's almost like a hamster wheel, taking orders, delivering orders, taking, how about blessing them with a business? How about blessing them with an opportunity to go and show them how to do this on their own? Like, hello, you just had a $500 party. I didn't do anything. You text all your people. Heather's got a great system with these documents of, our, of how to have these conversations to find, even if it's a one, that means there's a chance. So don't spin on the hamster wheel of just taking orders. We're not, we're not here just to live and go day by day, go by day by day. And success looks different for every single person, just like Melissa said. So are you here to just take orders and share your favorite scent? Or are you here to help people to build a business and to, and to like, and either way is fine. Either way is completely fine. That's okay if that's just what you want to do. But if you're really wanting more, this is the steps that you got to take. And it's hard and it's scary. And I'm saying that because that is me. It is not my strong suit at all. It is not. And I think a lot of times our biggest fear is 
I don't want to say that. I don't want to come across as the right. person. But you're opening the door right there with that. You are. And they gave us permission when they answered the form. And, and so yesterday, how I got this party spontaneously, the lady ordered for me. She messaged me back. She goes, oh, gosh, I need you again. And I did the SOS. I'm here. What you need? Before she even told me what she needed, you know, what I, I said, with all these orders coming in, girl, we might as well just do you a party. And what did she say? Yes. So anybody that orders back to back or refers someone in a small window, that's all you have to say. And I snapped her pictures and says, girl, we got these freaking fun QR videos they can scan. It's the easiest thing ever. Sure. I've had, that's what all these are behind me now. All the packs all ready for the party. I um, share this as well. I can't remember who I've told what now. So sorry if you have to hear it more than once, but I went to the dermatologist's office yesterday with my, or whatever, the other day with my kids. I drive like 45 minutes one way because I love this office that much. Y'all, I broke every rule. Right when I'm like paying, the lady goes, oh my gosh, do you have a Scentsy catalog? And that, cause I know I'm a Scentsy lady. And I was like, y'all, I didn't have a product sheet. I, I had business cards. I had like three business cards. I was so embarrassed, but let me tell you, I wound up talking to them for like 30 minutes. They were like, we forgot to like set up appointments and things because we kept talking about Cincy. And I came home like kind of kicking myself that I didn't have any more. Guess what? I came home and basically put together a really extra party pack, like kind of overdid it. I actually also sent them a fragrance flower because it's a nice doctor's office. Sent them like a handwritten note and I put everything about partying, about joining, because they're 45 minutes one away. If I could get one lady in that office to join, to see the potential of that they could just service that office alone. Like, it's just making sure that I'm prepared and willing to have that conversation. It doesn't have to be, do you want to join Cincy with me? Do, do, you, do you want to host a party? Like, hey, I've already got these cool little things that you can scan in here. They're like little commercials for each product. That's why I'm like, y'all, it's not like a long drawn out training. It's commercials for each product. It, the work's already done. So I kicked myself, but I already got him a new package in the mail and I'm excited and I can't wait to have, it's already a follow-up. I'll be able to text him. Did you get the box? Did you like, what did you think? So I just wanted to throw that out there too. Melissa, did you want to add something? You were unmuted, babe. Yeah, I have to think of what it was. Um, oh. I lost it. It's okay. It'll come back. Well, I it just want to hit, oh, go ahead. No, no, Kelly, go. I was going to say, I want to hit some of the um, questions in the chat. So the files that Heather is mentioning, we will get them posted to the monthly movement. So just know that those will be coming. Um, the app, the, the tune me thing that you were, she was talking about, it's an app. So it's an app yeah. that you download on your phone. You yeah. upload their picture in it. It turns them into a cartoon. You download the, the file and then that's what you use for however you want to use it. How was she sending it, Heather? You, I was answering for you because like we talk so much that I feel like I could almost answer a lot of your questions. I mean, but <laughs> I, I, could, I, I could share my screen in the party if y'all want to see that. It just started. I don't know if that's going to be helpful or hurtful. So, so, but though you still have some parties, you still have like a Facebook group is what you're saying. I always do a Facebook group on mine because there's no better way to connect in a setting like that and and be able to know what's going on so let me just share my screen and i'll, I'll say real quickly when we shared the qr code party we said it was completely up to you what effort what you wanted to do some people are doing chat some people are doing text groups some people are still doing facebook parties. some are not doing any at all so it's just kind of up to you right and and i'm over the top so this is my header it's the same i have all the templates all i do is change their face out change this out change their name that's it so when the party starts I literally, it's one announcement and I, I immediately did this. I changed this on for this one, save this graphic or video clip to your computer or phone and share it on your social media to help Sylvia. You may have some friends that need some stuff. You'll get a freebie. I'm doing a sample bag. It's not product. So it's samples. So it's allowed for each friend that purchases. Scan the QR code on the graphic or in the group and fill out the party pack deadline by this date. Turn on the notifications. So there's the three graphics all in the one. This is her host pack. So I sent this out way before, and this is what I put in it. I wanna spoil my hostess. 
a positive like daily affirmation, a car bar, some samples, a mask, a bar, laundry samples, a cotton cleanup, Scentsy Soak. But what you don't see, and the reason why you're seeing her post this is because attached to, see the washi tape at the top? She took it off because this, how do I stop sharing this real quick? This is what you don't see, she took it off. It's her instruction sheet on what to post on social media. First thing, snap a pic when your package arrives and post. Pick a host pack and share your excitement. Snap a pic when you use the laundry post and products and post. Picks of samples, pouring whiffs into the washing machine, like that, right? And so it's a step-by-step -step instruction on how I want her to blast it, okay? And then again, it, it four minutes, thank you. Um, so this is what I was telling you about. I post their thing going, hey, I received your party pack. Thank you. Look, she replied to me immediately, someone I don't know. Also, I love my cartoon pick. Oh, yay, good. I'm so glad you can use it on your social. So here's all the people. I've now put their little pictures of people that have filled it out and they can use their things on their social media. So today I said, I know our party hasn't technically started yet, but look what's coming out. One of her people already want to buy it. So it's not, it's really just sharing and pointing them in the direction of what you want them to do, but rewarding them, right? So yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's really it. I know we're about to start the, the game night. Go ahead, Melissa. The coolest part about what Heather just did is if your host actually does those things, she's your next consultant. Because you basically are going to say to her, you realize that you showing you dumping your washer whips in the washer and you showing blah, 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 and you doing this, that's what I do on a daily basis and I get paid for that. Like, if your host, if you give your host a little checklist of things to do and she does them, you just got, she just showed you that she could be a consultant and you offer her a host exclusive kit or you offer her a free kit or you tell her that if, if we end up having a join special coming up in the future, get your potential list ready so that these are the people that you have to offer a kit to because she showed. That's why anybody that you party with, host or guest, if they go above and beyond the normal guest interaction, they're a consultant. Exactly. Yeah. That um, was a great these, share. These, you guys, it, it, and I wrote a handwritten note in it this time, and my handwritten note said something to the effect of, I sent it to Jamie, and I'll, I'll just read it real quick because I know we've got to go. Um, it, I hand wrote a note to Sylvia in this one. I'm excited about your Scentsy party. The more you share, post, and comment, and engage on your personal Facebook and in the party group, the better. My last host did a short video showing her own wall fan diffuser and a lady bought seven it's more meaningful and powerful coming from you share away please let me know if you need anything heather so i hand wrote a note in my hostess thing also because i wanted to hit home i need your interaction coming from me it's spammy this is why the parties aren't doing well if it's coming from the person they know like and trust it's going to work it's sharing not selling um, the snap form was created specifically for the products I put in my host pack. So it, I'll take a picture of mine. This was created in Canva. You can create something very similar to what you put in. You're not going to put everything that I put in, right? So I will, I will post this in the monthly movement. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to add something really quickly because, well, I don't know how to answer it in the chat and I know we're right to the top of the hour, but it's a little bit long winded. So Kristen had asked, um, so I posted about sample packs and I didn't get any bites. And my response was, that's where you really have to see how you're using your social media and showing up their feed. Um, we can't post and pray, which is a topic we've done before on social media and things like that. Um, a lot of times if we just post, and I'm not saying that you do this, but I've not seen your social media. I'm not, I haven't, you know, that's not something I've looked at, but I know that a lot of the times if you're just posting sensey stuff and then you want some samples and this, that, and the other, they're not going to engage with you. Melissa shared something earlier today on the online cubicle that I thought was interesting where she went to Autumn her, went to go get her hair done. And the guy was like, is Melissa still doing Scentsy? Because well, she's done so well of focusing on sharing other things rather than just Scentsy that they were like, wait a minute. And so she's like, okay, I've got to, I've got to recircle the back. So I shared your story, Melissa. But that's something to keep in mind is what are you doing besides Scentsy that's engaging people, that's making them like and comment so that when you're posting Scentsy, that they're seeing that. So when you offer the samples, you're showing up. 
So that's the type of thing. And then also, how are you engaging with other people? Because if you're just, I know that's my personal downfall is a lot of times I will post, but I'm not doing well with engaging. And I find when I take the time to take 30 minutes at night as I'm winding down for the day and go really focus on engaging with other people, that that helps with who's seeing my stuff and making it, I, there's a lot of times I engage with Sensi consultants, but really focusing on also engaging with non-Sensi consultants to make sure that I'm showing up for those individuals and not just those that are already in the business. So that's something definitely um, check out Jill's social media stuff. We've done some social media shares in the monthly movement. Um, follow people that maybe you, that you see being successful. I know Camilla talked with us on our share versus sell one a few weeks back here on the monthly or the Thursday night shift. So those are the types of things I would probably focus on. Yep. So, okay. Well with that, that is Thursday night shift. And we don't have to say really goodbye to you guys because like we mentioned at the beginning, we're going to keep this going. We're going to keep streaming it to the monthly movement every week. And we'll, um, we will have the link still here for you guys to join us. Make sure you save that the monthly movement.com forward slash explore. And you'll have the password, same password uh, slash shift. Not Thank explore. you. We're on shift. We're not on explore. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Yes. Yeah. And I think, I think Christina's on here. Yes. And so I'm going to stop this recording. I'm going to stop out. Should we keep the share going over on Facebook? So we're going to keep, I'm going to stop the recording here. So those for here, just for shift, have a great night. We'll talk to you next week. <laughs>